hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss different types of rebars used in construction rebar is actually short form for reinforcement bars which we use in common practice in construction uh, as you can see over here tmx tmt cdd and hysd this is the classification of steel according to their application uh, which means that where these steels should be used according to use this classification is according to use so in this video we are going to discuss the full form of tmx tmt ctd and hyst and what are their uses and characteristics okay and we will also compare these classification or you can say we will compare these steels and we will discuss their applications advantages and uses so let's start our today's topic as we know that mild steel bars were earlier used for small scale construction they were not strong they had low tensile strength or even bendability was poor to correct these HYST or high yielding strength deform bars were introduced for reinforcing heavy structure construction as the scale of structures began to touch the sky both literally and metaphorically problems associated with HYST bars gave way to TMT bars TMT bars were better in every metric when compared with HYST bars and TMT bars were better in fire resistance corrosion resistance high dimension tolerance weldability and most importantly bendability we will discuss these bars one by one their application their uses and their advantages but before we proceed if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates the first one is tmx tmx is thermex steel bar are manufactured using german thermex technology so the tmx name is given after this technology which is thermex technology uh, on the basis of which this steel is manufactured okay and tmx steel is high quality tmt bar tmt bar will be discussed in uh, upcoming slides and thermex bars unlike ctd bars have a proven record of resisting loss of strength at high temperatures as experienced during fires so as our here we discussed that it has a high resistance against high temperatures so tmx bars should be used uh, in that construction where there is uh, construction where the uh, building or you can say the structure is vulnerable to heat or temperature for example in uh, construction industries are manufacturing of uh, glass or steel and uh, other uh, you can say where the temperature is very high so tmx bars should be used in that type of construction uh, second one is tmt tmt steel bars are manufactured using thermocore technology again this name is uh, tmt is named after this technology that is tempa core okay tempa core technology it is belgium technology and tmx was german technology so thermomechanical processing is also known as thermomechanical treatment tmt so tmt states for thermomechanical treatment is a metallurgical process that integrates work hardening and heat treatment into a single process tmt or thermomechanical treatment is an advanced process in which red hot rebars are quenched through a series of water jets making a hardened outer layer surface surrounding a softer core the quenching process produces a high strength bar from an inexpensive low carbon steel what are the characteristics of tmt bars it has a high yield strength and ultimate tensile strength it has a better ductility and elongation it has greater bond strength it has better weldability it has high thermal resistance and it is also corrosion resistance and earthquake resistance and it is also economical uh, if we compare tmt and tmx tmx steel bars are superior than tmt steel bars because 
TMX bars have better ribs than TMT. They are more fire resistant than TMT and TMX bar possesses better elongation. TMX provide more earthquake resistance. Thermex rods have better ductility, weldability and bendability property. It is worth mentioning over here that TMX bars are better than TMT bars but from cost point of view where you do not need fireproof structures like water tank, compound walls etc. TMT bars should be considered. Uh, the third type is CTD. CTD stands for cold twisted deformed bars or high strength deformed bars HSD okay whose quality is improved by various processes of cold working that is stretching and twisting. CTD bars have considerable large yield stresses about 50% more than ordinary mild steel bars. The sizes of these rebars vary from 4 mm to 50 mm and this type of rebar gives higher working stresses and saves the quantity of steel. One major drawback is that there are surface stresses and visible cracks due to cold twisting which leads to lower ductility, higher corrosion rate and reduction in elongation percent from 24% to 13%. If we talk about the characteristics of CSD bars, first one is it has great bond strength that these bars have excellent bonding strength with concrete hence the end hooks are not required thus it saves the steel. Second one is high tensile strength. CTD bars possesses high tensile strength and low carbon content makes it ductile. Fourth point is welding capability. Welding is possible due to its lower carbon value. Fifth point is better functional aspects and structural safety. Sixth one is less steel consumption. Construction with these bars consumes 30 to 40 percent less steel compared to other types of rebars as we discussed over here that it required uh, hooks are not required because it has a good bond strength and uh, therefore hooks are not required while using CTD bars and it is economical as well as it consumes less steel uh, therefore it is considered more economical as compared to other steels. So that's all for today. For more videos you are again requested please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates.